Okay, welcome to Cyberholic tutorial. What was it? Just let me check it in the back end. It's 212. Uh, create dynamic thumbnails within Winter CMS thanks to, re to the resize filter. What does this mean? Um, currently, I'm having this uh, wallpaper block section where I just get uh, the images per block entry. Uh, I do it dynamically, if you have seen the, the last video, and not by the featured image. That really doesn't matter. Um, if you do something like this, let's call it a news gallery, then you probably will have the problem, encounter the problem, that the images are too big. What does this mean? I mean, the page load like within two seconds right now, but... Every image that you see here is the original image with an average, I would say, of 250 kilobytes of size. So, and we have, as you can see, 12 um, following pages. So, this is quite a lot. If um, you check this page on your mobile phone with the mobile data, play data plan that you have, it's going probably going to blast within half a day so <coughs> <coughs> sorry i'm still with covid um so the idea here is to automatically create um thumbnails and winter cms comes with a service called image resizer and you can find two parts within the documentation one is about the filter itself um used within mar with uh, the markup um, within Twig. And uh, the other one is, uh, yeah, the service itself and how you can use it probably also for the backend if you create any plugin or component. I'm not sure, but I, I think that the, the service, the resize service uh, works for the whole system, front and backend. Okay, so instead of having here, like, uh, I don't know how many kilobytes loaded what i want to try out is this i go to my code into the wallpapers page seek where is it i search for the for the post entry here it is image source blah 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 full pass media etc and then this is quite easy and simple to use is <coughs> sorry um simply write resize resize uh -huh. <laughs> resize open up the bracket okay resize and then uh you could say something like i would say 200 pickle pixels pickles 200 pickles by and either you put in here a number, what would be in my case not proportional because uh, nearly all of the wallpapers are in full HD 1920 by 1080. And the trick here is uh, simply if I remember it correctly just to put null or false. I'm not sure we will see it in a second. And then you have a third attribute that you can define and that is how you want the image to be if you want it to be cropped if uh, the system should do it automatically etc there you have uh, i think like four options but in theory this is oops this is all that you should need so that the images would uh, be created at a maximum uh, size of 200 pixels uh, width sorry width of 200 pixels so I save it and let's see how this is going to work out and if we can see any type of uh, difference to the to the original one. Currently you see the original ones and my Raspberry Pi is working, is working. You gotta work it. <laughs> uh, Hey, what's wrong with you, my love? Okay, here it is. It's probably probably now generating all the thumbnails. <coughs> Sorry again. 
Okay, here we are. By the quality that I see right now, I would suggest that the thumbnails have been generated. We can find out simply by inspecting an image, anyone, and then there should be the, not the path to the image itself, but to the automatic generated thumbnail. And here it is. Um, so this thumbnail, is, thumbnail comes from the resizer folder and then has this, uh, well, randomly generated another folder and then Starrardy back. Ah, okay, the name of the file. So it's an auto generated um, uh, name for the file. And as you can see on the right below the preview, it's now 200 by 112. So this is now way smaller than um, you should expect. The question now is, the problem is that mm, many mobile phones, um, especially the, the iPhones with all their retina displays and high, super high Califaligrati resolutions, uh, if, if I define 200 here on those phones, it's going to probably look absolutely aw awful. Um, so you have to find a size that you, yeah, where you say, okay, that, that, it's an average that fits to at least to any phone and the quality is still good. Um, my idea now here is um, what I want to create uh, on the next step is that you can click on any of the thumbnails and then a modal pops up because the Formantic UI comes with an integrated modal system. And there you can see the image a little bit bigger in with a nearly full width of your phone screen size and then uh, there you can download it if you want to so that's the idea why I don't want to put in here the origin original images but thumbnails that's the image resize function coming from within winter